Hello guys, today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to make this beautiful shatter. Let's begin with going to Cinema 4D and we go to Windows Content Browser and I'm gonna use um, this thing called Tree Light Pro from Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit Pro. So let's give it a double click. that and let's close it up and then these three named replace me we're just gonna remove them all like that and yeah let's go to more graph and go to more text and you can name it whatever you want here and I'm gonna just I'm just gonna keep it on text so here on the font I'm gonna choose a font named HFF Clip Hanger. There it is. It's beautiful. Now let me just zoom in like that. Should maybe like bring it up a bit. There. Yeah, that looks good. So. Now on the mod text, let's go to caps and then fillet cap here. On the caps, we remove it and take fillet cap. On uh, this cap, let's go to fillet cap too. And then let's change all of this to number three. So three, and then click on tab, three, tab, tab, three, three. And this is how it's gonna look like. Let's maybe zoom a bit more like that. And now we're done with the mode text. Let's now go to let's see um, this. Let's go to the explosion FX like that. And we're gonna make it a baby to the mode text. Like that. And now I know it looks a bit weird. Looks a bit weird like that. But we can fix it by going here. And let's I'm gonna make the strength strength on 143. Like that. And um, this one I'm gonna change to 98 and this let's see 86 so you just experiment with all of this 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 and this just want to try to get the best results that you want it's your choice and I choose 89 to this one let's see I give it a 3015 on this just so it gets a bit more explosion but yeah um, I'll make the blast speed let's see maybe like this yeah this looks good now nah, let's let's see if we can like Take it up more. And then. No, that looks ugly. Let's try to take down it. Like that. And. That looks pretty much good, right? I think so, let's see. Yeah, like that. And then we do some variations that makes it look kind of random. Like that. Yeah, as I said, you have to play around with this. It's really hard. I want to keep like 
round 20 I guess and um, the density uh, I can high it up more because it looks cool with them let's see now I keep it like there maybe yeah that looks good and let's leave this at this is and here I'm gonna change the direction to Z world and the acceleration. I'm gonna lower it to like three something. Three point six maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can play around with this more. Then hide the blast speed like this. And yeah, just play around with it. I just Yeah, this this look kind of good, I guess. Yes, and um, yeah, I think I think we're finished now with this, and now we're gonna take this pro product called product that we got from the content browser, take it to the mo text, new release. And now I'm gonna press on this product, Control C and then Control V, and we're gonna change the colors, I guess. Um, we we'll go to the color, then change what color you want. Depends what you want. I'm gonna keep it in like bluish, because I like blue. Yeah, that looks good. Now we take it. And put it on the mode text again. So it will look like this. And now you click on the white one here and go to selection and type C1. And it will start to look like this. I'm just gonna render it so you can see how it looks. And you can still do this without the content thingy, but I like it like this. It looks more nice. Like you, you can still do it without this stuff. So let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this um, until the render is finished. See ya later. Hi guys, and I'm back. And I'm sorry about the long render. Um, seems like it doesn't work to show it off when I start the video back so I'm gonna do like this that now go to the edit render settings and change the custom settings here to 1920 1080 I'm gonna keep it on HD quality I'm gonna change this to 300 and um, here 
I'm gonna save it and put in some location, I guess. I'm gonna name this um, Shader and change the format to GPID. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. And let's close this up. Go to the render this. Um, wait, I think I've done something wrong here. Oh wait, um, I think I know how to fix this. Before you render it, you have to save this. And then, yeah, save this to the desktop. And after that, simply click on it. And now, let's try render it. Yes, it works. So this will take a while because it depends on how many shatters you have. Alright guys, so I'm back here and the render is finished. So let's just close everything up and here it is. Nice, huh? Now next step is optional. We can drag this to Photoshop's CC and we're just gonna make some color correction and some nice blur. Yes. So now we're gonna press Ctrl J and duplicate this layer. And let's call it Blur. Let's see, Blur Color Correction. So let's go to image adjustment and desaturate. And after that, we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna keep it on like 15.5 pixels, like that. I know it looks a bit bad, but we can fix that by going to soft light, like that. Now the difference is big, as you see. So now let's go to the adjustments and choose gradient map, the last one here. And we're gonna press it, choose the black and white, and then go to this one and choose a, a like light blue color, I guess. It depends on what color you use for the shatter. Now I think. I think this, maybe, this looks good, yeah that looks good, oh, forgot to save it, sorry, Now we're just gonna take some multiply maybe. Maybe we should take linear dodge and then 35% there. Yeah, that looks good. That looks better. And now we're just gonna make a curve. Let's see. We're gonna make a um, S shape. Remove the shadows a bit. Like that. 
Maybe we should have some shadows. No. Yeah, that looks be better, I guess. Choose to apply. Oh, we're gonna take this down a bit. Like 50% maybe. Yes. And now, let's go to channels. Or, and press control and press on the RGB. Go to layers back and then press on layers. And now, press shift delete on Windows. I don't know what it is on Mac. But you can also, also go to the image and go to the adjust, uh, adjustment and go to the contents. And here you choose the white and press OK. This is how it looks like. And we're gonna choose um, multiply. Like that. Now this looks pretty good. But we're not finished. We're gonna make a new make a new duplicate of background and then go to this and we're just gonna take this around the text like this and now we're just gonna go to select inverse and then go to filter blur and lens blur like that and we're just gonna make this to 10 I guess 10 yeah that looks good and press ok and then control D to deselect and now as you see we're finished so we're just gonna save this as some GPEG like this and this is how it looks like thank you for watching this and see me next time